In this next example, we are giving a transfer function in the frequency domain, and you are looking to go from the frequency domain back to the temporal domain and use a state space representation for this same transfer function. We can start by going back one step and rewriting this expression as y of s times s3 plus 6s squared plus 11s plus 6 equals to 6 times r of s. And now that you are here in the Laplace domain, we can go back to the temporal domain. So here we have y of s times s to the power of 3. That is the same as y triple dot plus 6 times y of s times s squared, which means y double dot plus 11 times y times s, so y dot, and plus 6 times y. So now if you take the Laplace of this expression, we go back here. And this is equal to 6r of t, or simply 6 times r. So this is now our differential equation in the temporal domain, back from, that we obtained from the transfer function, and you can now define the state variables for this representation. This is a third order differential equation, so we are going to need three state variables to describe them as three first order differential equations. There are multiple choices here for the state variables. So the one that I'm going to make is to call x1 y double dot. Why is that? I'm taking the highest derivative here, which is y triple dot, defining x1 as y double dot, so one derivative lower or, or, or higher. So then when we replace x1 back here, we get x1 dot. And that's the expression you're going to use for x1 dot. But again, there are many, many choices. We could, could have called x1 simply y and x2 y dot, x3 y double dot, and so on. That doesn't change anything. Of course, that will change the equations themselves, the matrices, but it's also a valid representation in a state space. So x1 is y double dot. Now we can choose the second one to be x2, that is y dot, and you can have x3 as simply y. Now, or we can reverse this process, have x1 as y and uh, go the other way. So these are the states of the system. What else we need to define? We need to define our input. Well, not really, because the input is already defined. What is the input here? The input is clearly r of s or r of t. Right, so this is our input there. And it will obtain from the transfer function. Y of s is the output of the system. So x3 is also the output. All right, now that you have the expression in the temporal domain and you have our state variables, we can rewrite this expression as a function of the state variable. So let's do that. What do we have? We have y double, y triple dot. What is y triple dot as a function of our variables here? Well, the only one that we can take to go no higher than a first derivative is x1. So x1 dot, right, which is y triple dot, plus 6 times y double dot. So y double dot is x1 itself, plus 11 y dot. y dot is x2, plus 6y. y is x3. And this is equal to the input, so 6 times r. Here we have the expression for x1 dot from this expression. x1 dot is simply 6 times r minus 6x1 minus 11x2 minus 6x3. What is x2 dot? x2 dot is x1. x2 dot is y double dot, which is x1. And what is x3 dot? x3 dot is x3 dot is y dot, which is x2. We now define our state vector as x1, x2, x3. And you can finally write this in the format of x dot equals to 
AX plus B U, which in this case is simply R. And we also have the output Y equals to CX plus D times U. Remember that U is the input. Now let's do that. So let's start with the first expression. x dot, x1 dot, x2 dot, x3 dot equals to a, a3 by 3 matrix times x, x1, x2, x3 plus b. times u, and our u here is simply r of s, sorry, r of t. Right, this is temporal domain, Laplace domain is no more. Now let's look at x1 dot. x1 dot is obtained from this expression, what do you get? So the first cell multiplies x1, that is negative 6. The second cell multiplies x2, negative 11. The third cell multiplies x3, negative 6 we see that the input appears here, R, and that multiplies then the first row here, the first cell, because the first it, this is where it shows up, shows up in x1 dot. Now let's look at x2 dot. We only see that is a function of x1, so the first cell is 1, the other two are 0. x3 dot is only a function of x2, so we have 0, 1, 0. And for these two expressions, we see that there is no R added there. So these two cells are 0. Now that we have the first expression, let's find an expression for the output. The output can be defined by simply looking at the transfer function. It is explicit there that the output is Y. Why? Because, well, the definition of a transfer function is output divided by the input. So y is the output. y is the output. What is y is x3. So y of t equals to x3. That's the output of our system. So now let's build equation 2 in a matrix form. y equals to c times x so x is defined here, so c needs to be a 3 by 1 times x, x1, x2, x3, plus d times u, and our u is r. So this is very simple, y is given by x3, so we have 0, 0, 1, and here we simply have all zeros, there is no direct relation between y and r. This is the only expression we have, and this is everything we represented in the second expression there. And as I said, we went from a transfer function in the Laplace domain back to the temporal domain, and now we are able to find a state space representation of this transfer function. Notice that this third order transfer function is now represented as a set of three first order differential equations.